Today, I'm going to show you how to easily start a super profitable side hustle that people are doing to generate thousands of dollars a month in passive income. I'm referring to publishing low content and medium content books on Amazon KDP for free, which anyone around the world can do. You don't need any writing skills, graphic design skills, or your own printer. All you do is create a low or medium content book like a planner, journal, or activity book, upload it on Amazon, and Amazon Amazon will actually create the physical copies of the books and deliver them to your customers every time you make a sale. What's more important than publishing these books is actually selling them. So I'm going to give you tips on how to make sure your books are seen by the right people on Amazon that want to buy your book. Today, I'll show you how to create and sell coloring books from scratch because they're very profitable on Amazon and they're super easy to create. This is what I created and published on Amazon recently. I just ordered myself a copy. You'll see how easy it was for me to design the front cover as well as the back cover where I included some example pages that's inside the book. And then I got images from Creative Fabrica to include in the coloring pages. You'll also see that every single page has some quotes on there. So I just added in some text over top, which I will also show you how to do. So let's get started. In order to guarantee book sales, market research is vital. You need to know what people are searching for on Amazon and what book niches are not not overly saturated. That's why I use BookBolt that not only helps me create books really quickly within their built-in studio, but it shows me the less competitive niches I need to focus on. To follow along in the whole research and creation process, you can grab the free trial of BookBolt down below to test it out for yourself. The cloud is always where I like to start because it will give me an idea of Amazon bestsellers within a specific category. So I'm going to select top 100 bestsellers on Amazon within the coloring book category for this one. And BookBolt will give you super valuable information on each one of these bestsellers, how much the author charges per book, how many books they're selling per month, and the publication date. This inspirational coloring book was published in 2023, just a few months ago, and they're already selling over 600 books per month. At this price point, they're already generating over $4,200 a month in passive income just for this one book. And of course, you can publish multiple books once you've learned this process. Here's another that was published just over a month ago, and they've already sold over 500 books. So it's just reassuring to see that you don't have to be selling for so many years in order to see incredible results like these. It's very possible to jump into this business and start making income right away if you set it up properly. Based on a few bestsellers I found through my research, I loved the idea of quotes coloring books for women. So once you get a rough idea of what you want to create, head over to the keywords feature where you can get a better idea on the demand for these types of books and other similar books. So I typed in quotes coloring book for women at the top, which gave me a list of relevant and related keywords that people are searching for on Amazon with the exact search volume beside it. I was drawn to quotes coloring book for pregnant women, which has a search volume of over 3000 in the last 30 days. So demand is high, but how can competitive is this niche. Well, if you type in your keyword phrase into amazon.com, you'll get an idea on competition by the number of results you get underneath it. This one, for example, only has 341 results currently, which is super low. If you can find a niche that has lower than 1000 search results on Amazon and a higher search volume based on book bolt results, you've found a profitable niche. So this looked like a great one for me to move forward with. You can create coloring pages from scratch, of course, or you can grab already made ones from websites that allow you to resell them. I used Creative Fabrica to download my coloring pages. If you've never used it before, Creative Fabrica provides graphics and fonts that you can purchase in order to use in your own products. I've partnered with them to give you your first 10 downloads entirely for free and you can cancel at any time. Just use the link below to claim your free downloads. So I typed in coloring pages and browsed through their packages. They have a lot of beautiful options options, super cute options, and I was drawn to this one that offers over 550 adult coloring pages, each page full of detailed floral designs to color in. They also state in their description that you are allowed to sell these on Amazon KDP, which is great. So I've already downloaded this package to my computer. There are, of course, so many other designs you can find on Creative Fabrica if you want to browse through more options and get more specific in your search. I'm going to create my book right in BookBolt by going to their 
create feature here and selecting BookBolt Studio. A window will pop up asking you to fill in specific details about your book. Feel free to pause the video here just to look at the features I've selected for my book. I won't go into all the detail in this video since I've gone in a lot of depth in past tutorials that I will link down below for you. Designing the interior coloring pages was super easy and quick because I just brought in the PNG files from the package I downloaded from Creative Fabrica one by one. To do that, go to File Library over here and select Upload Image. You can then go to each interior page in BookBolt one by one and bring in a coloring page of your choice. A pro tip for coloring pages, make sure that you are adding in a blank page behind each coloring page just to avoid bleed through. So you'll notice that I've added in a gray page behind each coloring page so that the colors don't bleed through. To do that, go to the second page in BookBolt and change the page color to gray. So now you can just repeat this process for the rest of your book. I then came up with 50 inspirational quotes and positive affirmations for pregnant women. And I actually used ChatGPT to help me with this, which is completely free. Typing in things like, give me three word phrases to describe excited pregnant women. And then coming up with different variations of that to get a list of 50 quotes. For each page, I added in text in the BookBolt Studio by going to their text feature here and played around with their fonts and their different styles to make each page a little different and interesting. You can use the panel on the top to edit the text if you want to make the borders thicker, add drop shadows, etc. You can see all the completed interior pages of my book on the left-hand side by following the same process. I used circular text for some of them, regular straight text for others, and added in drop shadows here and there to change it up a little. Designing the cover, which will be the first page in BookBolt Studio, was super fun. You can either upload your own graphics if you want to download some from Creative Fabrica, or you can use BookBolt's file library. For this cover, I went to Pixabay and typed in flower border to browse through what they have. I was really drawn to this one, so I added it on the front and back cover, which I thought looked really cute. I basically just copied and rotated it to fill up the whole book. You can now add some text to your book to let the customers know what the book is all about. I like to get inspiration on what to include on my cover by researching some similar books on Amazon to get some fresh ideas. For example, I really liked this motivational quotes cover that I found, so I took inspiration from that by adding in the flowers that I did and a quote with a description of the book on the front. If you want to add example pages to the back of your cover just like this, which I highly recommend because it's a bonus to show the customer what they're getting, choose the pages of your book that you want to showcase and save them individually in BookBolt. You can then convert each PDF file to a JPEG file by using free generators online. That's exactly what I did here. And then upload them back into the file library in BookBolt where you can drag them onto the back cover. Once you're finished with your book, just download it on the top here where BookBolt will save a separate cover file and a separate interior pages file onto your computer because you will need to upload them separately on Amazon when you go through the process. To publish your book on Amazon KDP, you just need to create your KDP account, which is completely free to sign up with your email. And once you're signed in, click on the Create button over here, where you will select the paperback option. Since I have gone through this whole process in depth in my past tutorials, which again, I will link down below for you, I just want to point out the most important features you need to focus on in order to make sure your book is seen by the right people that actually want to buy it. Under your book title, make Make sure to use the same keywords as your cover. So for my example, I've written blessed with baby, inspirational coloring book for pregnant women to match the words I used on the front. For your subtitle, include relevant keywords that describe your book in detail. This is when the keywords feature in BookBolt will come in handy. So head over to the list of keywords you used earlier to do your research and use them to formulate the subtitle of your book. Your description is also super important because you want to tell the customer exactly what they're getting from the book. This is when researching some bestsellers will also be super helpful. You can have a few books up on your screen with their descriptions in front of you to help you put yours together. The keywords section should be filled out entirely with relevant keywords that you find from BookBolt. Try to diversify the keywords you're using rather than repeating the same words over and over to give you a better chance at ranking for multiple phrases that shoppers are actually searching for on Amazon. And then finally, when you get into pricing, it's important to 
research what similar books are charging to make sure you're somewhere in the middle. Under BookBolt's cloud, click on results data where you will find the average price of the category you've selected. In this case, it will be around seven to eight dollars. So as a new seller, you don't wanna go above that. If anything, you'll wanna price your book at a fairly low cost to begin with until you start getting sales and reviews. That's when you can start to slowly bump up your price once you've gotten that social proof. Now, I've partnered with BookBull to give you a free trial where you can test out their platform and make your first few books entirely for free. If you choose to subscribe to one of their plans, make sure to use the code Sandra D at checkout for 20% off your entire order. To make coloring books like I showed in this video, you only need their newbie plan. If you do intend on creating puzzle books like mazes and word searches, for example, then you might want to upgrade later on to their pro plan. Don't forget to grab your first 10 downloads for free on Creative Fabrica using the link below. They have an incredible deal right now that gives you access to all their fonts and graphics for just $60 for a whole year, which is what I'm currently subscribed to. You can head over to this video next where I show you how to create a planner in BookBolt and upload it to Amazon KDP step-by-step, step, so I'll see you there.